control this match. Yeah, and Gareth Williams, the Welsh coach, going with some youngsters again, giving him a shot. Owen Lane at 19, Tom G. Williams at 20. So a big test for them here in that crucial match, as you say, for World Series points. Ethan Davis with the start into a strong breeze. <clears throat> so Japan will have the elements at their back. And that's oh a stupid pass. That's a wild pass. It's going to say a foolish pass. And Adam Thomas stopped the clock at 16 seconds. A brain fade from Japan. And Adam Thomas picks up his second in Vegas. Well, we've just had happy birthday sung around the stadium for a young lady. This is a gift wrapped up. The wind blowing away at the Japanese back. So this one floats. Not only was it forward, it just sat up beautifully for Adam Thomas. That is not what you do when you are playing with the wind because the ball is going to drift. And that there is a gift. Here is the conversion to make it 7-0. Wales wanting to make sure that they can post a big score here ahead of Vancouver to gain some confidence and now the restart from Davis this time along the ground Japan need to go into contact first of all they beat a few players and now with some footwork and some pace looking to raise the gift that they've just given he's got the angle has he got the pace to go all the way you bet he has nice dive and finish from Yoto Kano hasn't given it but I don't think there's any problem here with the grounding there it is. What a response from Kano. Straight off the kickoff, off his right foot, and then pinned his ears back, making up for that initial Japanese mistake. The is not going to be easy, but look at this. Just backed himself right from the start. Beautiful response from Kano. Well, we've had two tries, and we've had one pass <laughs> in the game. Here comes the dive. Knew that the defender was coming from that side, places the ball down. There's not, been, there's not been one tackle made. No. And they have been two minutes. I'm really surprised the Welsh aren't using this wind that's in their face to hang up these kickoffs, get some height on it. Well, there is the kick. Soijima gets up and batters it back. Hashino gets the ball, and now Japan. Free it out to where Oishi stands on the left-hand flank. They go in and to win the ball back. Quickly cleared by Ashino. Runs across the field, and now they look to come back this left-hand side. Great play from Japan. And Ozawa will pick up their second. They must have gone to the casino in the break and decided to roll the dice because they're playing the type of rugby we've been waiting to see. Great interplay between the Japanese here. The ball back inside, and then the short ball. The captain steps up. Dai Ozawa. Dai getting it done over the Welsh. And then from Toyota Club, look at that. Good run. Wales have missed two tackles. And they've led to two tries. There is your try scorer, Ozawa. Love the way that they came back and they went down Main Street, or as some of our commentators are calling it, Las Vegas Boulevard. Dean Martin Drive. <laughs> awesome. We've got 19 points in three and a half minutes played. Let's shoot out of the corral here. Well, that, the points are valuable. They want to stay on as a core team, do Japan and Wales. Also, know that they're in the wrong section for the high values that they set nice step here from lane owen lane one of the newbies the 19 year old sets it nicely they bring the ball back towards the right remember wales playing into a strong breeze the offload a break off the tackle so jima makes a good tackle gets to his feet is all right so the ball gets cleaned out his numbers well they push the ball out to the left it needed to be a little bit more accurate there's space on the inside again it's lane over the top goes davis Wales on the attack, looking to strike back immediately. Tackle's been made from Japan, though. That's still in. And where's Jersey 5? They pick and go. The dummy now from Davis gives it straight back to Sakai. And he can shift. Now Japan, after doing so much defending, 
get a chance to go on the attack. No sweeper in behind for Wales. Now they've got someone back. Sakai was standing there. Well, there's about four Japanese players all within about five metres of each other. There's Ozawa. The try scorer stops, goes into the contact of Lane again. Japan, they've got the numbers out to the left, but they step back to the right. Another offload here. It's not really seven, it's more 15 style here. Well, twice Japan have squared up as though they're going to kick. There is no sweeper in play for Wales, but they haven't taken the option. It seems nuts to me. Well, you can see there too, they're all like a group of sheep that are all just gathering in the same paddock. There's so much space out in the field that they should have been using. Ready? Couch. Bind. They get the feed Set. to the scrum. Kano. Wait, wait. Feeds the ball and all the try scorers and now the lovely footwork here from Stalin. Won't have the pace to go all the way. The sweeper comes across and does a good job. Offload now to Sakai. Sakai is one of the more experienced players here on the seventh circuit. Gets the penalty. Stalin, who made the initial break. Thought he was going to tap and get on with it. Now go to the set piece. 40. One tries to that man there on screen. 28 years old. Gareth has been around the circuit for a while. He has, yeah. Just slowing things up. You can hear that wind gusting in our field mics. Sakai gets it back to Stellan. No room down that short side. And Wales try to drive him towards the line. Now they clear it. Not a good clearance from Sakai. So Jima goes backwards. Knocks it backwards, says the ref. Stay strong. Buy some time as well, which was really important in the game of sevens, but they couldn't get to him quick enough. Yeah, he kept his feet, but the Welsh emerged on him. Now they got a serious advantage. And Wales pushed the ball out. It's Lane out on that left-hand flank. Some footwork and then pushed back into the pocket. So good ball movement from Wales. I didn't find where the space is. There's numbers out here to the right where they need to push the ball. It's gone backwards. And now they bring it out to where at the top try scorer for them luke morgan is standing or get around oh. sojima now just the sweeper morgan morgan the step from morgan sayonara he's gone luke morgan scores try number five in las vegas well great to see that for welsh fans and for all sevens fans luke morgan who's been out with an injury for eight months hasn't played since last may and Twicking him, look at this, backs himself one-on-one -on -one and then knows the sweeper's coming. Could he go off his right foot? Didn't even really need to. Great balance, great pace. Luke Morgan under the poles. Mistake by Japan, the turnover. And Wales showing all the class required this here to draw level. In fact, to put them ahead. We head to the break after seven minutes of play. Wales leading Japan 14-12. Happened, but really high standard of sevens all around. A oh, weak start to the second half. Remember playing into a breeze, Japan. It's got to go past the 10 metres, and it just does. And Sakai gets the ball back. Sojima picks it up. Some footwork back to Sakai. They've got numbers here, Japan, and they're inside the red zone. Sakai sets it in the 22. Sojima goes into play halfback. They'll get the penalty. No hurry to try and get the tap either, Japan here. Yeah, Owen Jenkins had his hand on the ball. He thought he had rights after he made the tackle. Looked at the ruck at form, and is that Sakai who's gone down awkwardly? Katsuyuki okay. Sakai from the Toyota Shuttles, 28 years old, debut in Hong Kong in 2010. Let's see if he may have injured his arm right there. Yeah, he goes down, he releases the ball and gets to his feet. And that's when Jenkins envelops him. See here, good tackle. So one of his options as a tackle player is to release the ball, get up, and then he can play it again. And he does that well. Got injured in the process. New man on the field is Masahiro Nakano. And the tap from Kano, the try scorer, some footwork, some decoy runners. Needs some support quickly, and it comes in the form of Ozawa, the captain. Options both left and right. They come out to the right. Hashino. Gets it back to Kano. Kano goes on one of those trademark runs. Stalin oh. comes in like a bullet. 
from the left-hand wing, and Japan take the lead again. Well, it was all set up with the stop and go by Kano. He stands up the Welsh defender, and then they're in trouble. Simple scissors ball, a late drop for the big man. Jeez, I haven't heard the scissors call since the <laughs> 80s. That's how we roll up here. Look at this. Stop and go. That creates troubles. Tom Williams can't get across. What about the fend-off? That was magical. Right in the chest. Sit down. The Japanese at their best is very much a mix of pace and power. We saw it in the Olympics. They ended up fourth. A few bodies missing here, but that's what they need to find. Coach Damien Corona obviously knows how to play that pace and power game, having been with Gordon Titchens for so many years in New Zealand. Well, he's one of the gaichins, as they call it in Japan, which is one of the foreign players, is Patrick Stellan. Opting to go with more of the local talent, and that's what it's about. And Japan is developing the base, building it. Now, how do Wales respond? Not with a pass like that, but to Morgan. The step and go from Morgan again and gets it to cross. The captain has just come on the field. So Jima plays the ball on the ground illegally. Great refereeing from Pablo De Luca. The Argentinian picked that up. Well, they haven't tapped it, so he hasn't picked that up. But they get the ball along the line. They just passed it. No tap at all. Lloyd Evans takes it into the contact. This time they get a penalty that they do tap correctly and go on the attack. Well, he's throwing more dummies than a millionaire's baby. Old Benjamin. Now a real chance for Wales Cross. The silver medalist at the Olympics last year throws a ball over the top. Ozawa won't have the pace, though. And he's throwing an awful pass. That's not the prettiest sevens we've seen here in Vegas over the last three days. Frantic stuff. Ozawa was away, running into this fierce wind. He just pulled out immediately. The, uh, Look at this. Stray ball there. Good inside ball, actually, from Hashino. White five. Now it's high risk, high reward. Ready? Japan desperate for points, as we keep saying. They're in that Go. relegation, promotion relegation zone. Set. Wales looking for pride. Yes, and there's some space down here, this left flank. No one patrolling it at all, and as easy as you like, Ethan Davis just sprints away to bring Wales back level 19 all. Kick to come. Well, we know Ethan Davis can finish. That's how he got in the dream team in Dubai. Look at the vision. Conventional scrum comes out, and he just spots there's no one on that short side. And he knows he's got the gas to finish it off. He looks like a track athlete out there. One thing you can't coach, Gareth, you may have had plenty of it. I didn't, and that's gas and that's speed. And look at the post just blowing it. Well, he manages to negotiate it in between them to take the lead. That's the most important kick of the match so far. Two and a half to play. Yeah, but you get the impression, really, the way this match is going, that isn't the last score we're going to see. Frantic stuff, but entertaining nonetheless. Great crowd, good conditions. The breeze may be there, but that's what they've got to contend with. And how can Japan get their hands on the ball? Deep kickoff, they let it run all the way dead. They don't, and that's a good kickoff to find some space down the left-hand touchline. Textbook foot skills. The left foot, the educated left foot, as they would say in Wales, of Ethan Davis. Beautifully struck. No, that's say educated. I wouldn't yet, say educated. Educated. Wait, wait. The important line out now for Japan to get back in this game. They're going to have to go 95 meters. Nakano with the throw. Set piece is good. Well. There was some advantage there. Okay. The Japanese have got possession. Oh, not straight is the call. So it was the Welsh who had the choice. Now, yes, why do you have substitution? John Moon Han comes on, the 20 year old from the Ryutsu Kaisai University. Jersey number four. Bind. 
Stefan Andrews with the feed. This an important scrum for Wales to try and put the icing on the cake. They can't. Sakai gets the ball, throws it back to nobody. And so they need to respect position in this position of the zone. And I think Wales' biggest problem for them is that they're trying to score from set piece immediately as opposed to showing some patience. Yeah, it looked like a set move just to hit block up, hit up, and then see what was on afterwards. But they couldn't even put ball to hand there. Expensive. And one minute 18 is a long time in seventh rugby. Well, they bring Stellan back in. He went off for a little while, and now they've brought him back on. Wonder why. Coach. They park him out on the left-hand flank as well. So Sakai Set. comes in to play halfback. Big scrum for Japan. They need to stay strong. I thought they might have got the penalty there because the halfback for Wales, Stephen Andrews, got in very, very quickly. And look at the wind, it's just gusting down there. It feels okay up here, but look at those. That's that's the actual post. Those are our uprights. Nice bit of <laughs> sportsmanship, too, shown there. Yeah, they get it out. Well, Sakai didn't have too many options, and he just went to ground straight away. They clean and set the play. Saw Jima from a standing start. Won't get the pass cross. Too good a defender is the Welsh captain, Sam Cross. Now they clear it. The pass looked a little forward, oh. only by a meter. Oh. Yeah, those, those are the, the posts from the match we're playing in right now. I think I heard Sean Maloney say that if the wind picks up over 60k, they stop flying here in Las Vegas. In Wellington, New Zealand, that's normal day. Yeah, that's regular. It means we're all not going to have to stay a couple of nights in Vegas here. Do you think we can manage it? Really? What will we do? Imagine if you're on your way to Vegas and you can't land because there's too much wind. Oh, good turnover. Yeah, yeah, the pressure comes on again. They'll get the penalty. And they'll secure the win here, Wales. Japan couldn't get outside their own 22, and that is smart play from Wales. Cross came on as a closer does in the sport of baseball here in America, and he's done it brilliantly. Wales will claim the title in this the first final they have beaten japan by 21 points to 19.